it's Dave from Bove Drives. Today you're joined with my uh, 2022 Navarro Blue Audi S4 that could use a little bit of a cleaning. It's a lovely March day at 70 degrees Fahrenheit with the lovely sun out and I thought we should talk about my experience purchasing this Audi S4 and kind of my thoughts around owning, uh, purchasing a year ago this car and you know sort of the used car market and my thoughts around this whole thing. So, you know, we'll just take a quick walk around. Purchased this in 2023 uh, in February uh, for about $50,000. It's a certified pre-owned Audi S4 Premium Plus uh, with a lot of options that MSRP were about 65,000. So I saved a good chunk. Um, this is also before Audi changed their CPO program. So I also got an additional two years, 50,000 miles on top of the standard four year, 50,000 miles for warranty coverage. And because I financed through Audi Financial, I got two of my PMs or preventative maintenances covered. So I got essentially 10, 20, 30, 40,000 miles service covered for Audi Care. Got this nice red interior, all this nice carbon fiber trimming on the inside. We got some stuff in the back, but overall, of lovely interior. I love the red. I love these sport seats with the massage functionality. Let's start it up. Love that little start up burble. Anyone nearby? See if I can go. <laughs> it's a good exhaust note. Very nice. All right. So let's talk about, this is just kind of going to be my thoughts around buying cars, used cars, new cars, certified pre-owned, and all of that. I want to give an anecdote about kind of the used car market, bearing in mind the, uh, the changes that we had with the used car market from 2020 and onwards, where prices were going up instead of down. Let's first start off with talking about my thoughts behind buying cars. Never buy a new car. There are very little reasons these days to purchase a new car unless you're leasing. You can get a ton of incentives from certain manufacturers like Jeep um, or the electric vehicle credits. Those I'd say with the exceptions, but never buy a new German car, never buy anything new. I think getting a used car is just always gonna save you some money in the depreciation game. Most cars will run 200,000 miles if you take care of them. When I was shopping for this Audi S4, I was shopping between, ultimately, the Audi S4, the Kia Stinger, and, and the TLX Type S. I wanted a sedan, I wanted a large displacement engine, I wanted something that had a little bit of an exhaust character. I don't know what this guy's doing. And I also wanted something decently reliable. The Audi S4 surprised me. You know, this car only has 27,000 miles, but I've read a lot that Audi S4s are pretty stout platform, nothing too complicated. The engine's been refined. It's using a lot of different VW and Audi and Porsche products. So plenty of mass scalability on this engine. Ultimately, I went with this Audi S4 because like I said, $50,000 got me a certified pre-owned car with only 8,000 miles. It was a 2022 model. So I had up until 2028 of warranty coverage or 100,000 miles. Actually, we're going to go straight. Uh, 100,000 miles warranty coverage as well as those four Audi care services. So in terms of long-term ownership for a German car, um, you're getting, I was getting a lot of value and the TLX pricing and the Kia Stinger pricing, you know, warranty to warranty, coverage to coverage, mileage to mileage. The Audi depreciated harder, but as a result, I think I was just getting a faster, more refined um, car for around the same price. So ultimately, that's why I went with it. And I'll give a little anecdote that when I was looking, I went to a dealership, <coughs> I'm not gonna mention them, <coughs> but, uh, I went to a dealership that had a 2019 Audi S5, 30,000 miles, top trim, but it was $46,000. So I just think 
my, you know, my number one advice to people shopping is shop around, learn about the values. If you're really serious about used car buying and you don't need a car immediately, really shop around and make sure you're getting a good deal. There's a ton of services, Carvana, Vroom, KBB, that can give you pricing and just anal analysis on if you're getting a good deal. And also, uh, I use US cars and news. I would type in the model, make or year, make model, and sort of see how cars are optioned and learn about different generations. So this Audi, I could have gone further back and in hindsight, I should have bought like a 2020, 2021 because nothing really changed from 2019 really to 2022 other than like the infotainment being a touchscreen. Other than that, same engine, same features, same digital gauges, you know, a couple things are updated here and there, but I could have saved even more money because now a year later with 27,000 miles, so I put about 20,000, you know, as you can see, almost 20,000 miles on the clock. Uh, this car so bought it for 50,000. Now it's worth about 35,000 on, you know, the wholesale market. If I look to buy from car or have Carvana buy it because the room is out of business apparently. <laughs> um, so even then buying a used car two years later, I definitely overpaid. Um, I definitely got hit with a nice depreciation curve, even with the mileage I'm putting on. Um, I'm sure there's a CPO tax there, just, you know, the additional cost of getting a certified pre-owned car. But the nice thing about this is I paid it off. So now I have a car that can go to 100,000 miles, warranty and pretty much maintenance covered for half of that. And I'll just, I'll be, you know, for what this car is and for what, you know, there's definitely some value there because I can go easily to 150, maybe 200 and not have too many major repair bills and not have a car payment. So that's, that's really my advice to anyone looking to buy a used car. Um, figure out what you want. Do you want a sedan? Do you want an, uh, a Jeep plug-in hybrid? Do you want a big SUV? or do you, you know, figure out what you want, the, your, you know, what, what you're hauling, um, you know, do you want a fuel efficient car, do you want a sporty car, all that stuff, figure that out first. Uh, get some, do a lot of test driving, don't be afraid to test drive, uh, don't be afraid to walk away from a dealer, don't be afraid to test drive multiple times. I drove the Stinger, the Audi S4, S5, TLX Type S probably three to four times each. And then when I bought the car, when I bought the Audi on the day, I actually went from an uh, Acura dealer in Princeton, New Jersey, and then to a Kia dealer in Quakertown, Pennsylvania, and then all the way down to Audi of Turnersville, where I bought this car in New Jersey uh, to drive an S4. And that's the one I settled on. But I, I spent all day, I test drove back to back, so I knew exactly what I wanted um, when I made the final decision. So test drive, find a car you want, use resources to find, is this a good deal? You know, take the VIN number, run it through Carvana, learn about different model years, you know, maybe get a, a older model year with a, maybe lower mileage um, and save some money there. Like really kind of like think about that, you know, don't get something brand new unless you're leasing it. Uh, don't go for the newer model years unless it's like a complete redesign and you think that redesign is worth it. Um, I just think there's so much value in the used car market, even with the inflated prices today. Because uh, if I had to buy a $65,000 car versus a $50,000 car versus a 40, 30, um, you know, with all those cars, you know, versus new versus old or used with some miles, uh, you know, a couple years old, 20 to 30, 40,000 miles in it, it's practically a new car. The money you save, you can, you know, be like, hey, this is in case something goes wrong. So with that being said, you know, I hope everyone enjoyed this little side tangent video. Not much driving. Uh, I just do like to kind of talk and, you know, discuss, uh, you know, my purchase of this car um, and sort of like my tactic with going about, you know, learning about cars and I will, er, uh, learning about purchasing cars. And I will say there's one thing, um, one thing I will say is that if you have time, time is your greatest ally. Cars will, you can, you know, that's actually one thing I forgot to mention. 
in addition to learning about model years and all of that, uh, use Auto Trader. I use Auto Trader. I plugged in all these cars, certified, used. Um, and that's how I actually found, believe it or not, that's actually not how I found this car. Um, I went to Audi's website and their certified pre-owned inventory. This car is listed as used, but it was just recently uh, certified when, so it never updated an Auto Trader. And that's how I was able to find this Audi um, because it had been sitting on the lot. They, they totally overpriced. I still think it was overpriced when I bought it. Oh, well, but it was dropping like $1,000, $500, like almost every five days. It was nuts. It was nuts. They were really jumping the price down. So yeah, I, you know, overall, that's my summary on all this. So let me know your thoughts. Let me know your car buying process, used, certified, new, lease, all that stuff, how you've kind of gone about picking a car and I will see you on the next one. This is Dave from Bove Drives. Ciao.